then. So you're sitting there, staring at your screen, wondering, try hack me or hack the box. Choosing between them can feel a bit like picking your starter Pokemon in cybersecurity. Both are powerful in their own right, but the best choice depends entirely on where you are in your learning journey. Let's explore both. Try hack me is built with newcomers in mind, not just beginners in cybersecurity, but even those who may be completely new to tech. Imagine you're someone who's heard about hacking from YouTube or Reddit. Maybe you've watched Mr. Robot or followed someone doing CTFs on Twitch, but you're not even sure what a port is or why everyone keeps talking about enumeration. That's where Try Hack Me shines. It starts from the ground up, covering networking basics, how websites actually work behind the scenes, Linux command line skills, and gradually builds you into someone who can scan, exploit, and think like an attacker. The content is laid out like an interactive course, almost like Duolingo, but for hacking. You don't need to set up your own lab or worry about breaking anything on your system. It all runs in the browser, and if you get stuck, you're never far from hints or a community forum where others are working on the same room. It's the perfect environment for people who want to learn by doing, but still need a bit of direction along the way. Now, on the flip side, we have Hack the Box, aka the Spartan Bootcamp of hacking. Want to make an account? You better hack your way in, seriously. This place doesn't say hello, it says, prove you belong here. It's got boxes ranging from mildly intimidating to might summon ancient cyber demons. If try hack me is the tutorial level, hack the box is the boss fight where the boss is invisibly punching you in the dark. But here's the thing, if you're somewhere in the middle, kind of like, I know how to run nmap and I don't scream when I see burp suite, then hack the box might be your next challenge. It's got that raw, unguided, figure it out yourself energy. It builds your self-sufficiency and teaches you to think like a real hacker, solving problems without any roadmap. That said, Try Hack Me still has plenty of cool stuff even for intermediate and advanced folks. Want to learn blue team skills? They've got a whole cyber defense path. Learn how to spot and stop the same kind of shenanigans you were doing on the offensive side. And once you know how the defenders think, you become a much sneakier attacker. Meanwhile, Hack the Box is perfect for flexing your pen testing muscles with crazy hard boxes and sharpening your skills for exams like the OSCP and beyond. You'll cry, you'll scream, you'll Google strange things, and somehow you'll grow stronger. Look, starting out in cybersecurity feels like being dropped into a boss fight with no weapon and a tutorial that already self-destructed. It's overwhelming, confusing, and half the time you're wondering if you're learning hacking or just accidentally becoming tech support. But that's the thing. It's supposed to be messy at the start. Whether you vibe more with Try Hack Me's cozy guided chaos or Hack the Box's trial by fire energy, the important part is that you start. You'll go from what is a port to oops, I just laterally moved through an internal network way faster than you think. So pick your poison, embrace the struggle, and enjoy becoming the slightly paranoid, terminal-loving nerd you were always meant to be. In the end, to wrap things up, they're both awesome. Try Hack Me is your wise and gentle sensei. Hack the Box is your tough love. Drill Sergeant Mentor. Pick the one that fits your level, or better yet, use both. And oh well, if you want help navigating these platforms and learning how to use them later to get a job or maybe even dive into bug bounty hunting, join Hack Academy. We help you go from complete beginner to job ready, covering everything from Linux, networking, programming, and hacking, to a custom app we built to help you get any popular cert out there. We also show you how to optimize your CV, build labs, and improve your public profiles so you can land the job you want. You won't find this anywhere else. Best of all, you can join and try it out for free. Thank you for watching. Hope this helped.